Hello everyone, myself Chandana. Today we are at day 0 demo class. Okay, uh, in this day 0 demo class, we will see about what is SaaS and where we use this SaaS and what are the industries that is using this SaaS. Okay, so SaaS is a statistical analysis system or statistical analysis software. Okay, it is developed at North Carolina State University by known james goodnight okay so it was originally developed for agricultural research purposes developed in between late early of 1960s and 1970s okay so this sas is a combination of data warehousing tool and statistical package what is this data warehousing tool so the data warehousing tool main functions of uh, such as um, extraction transforming loading and reporting okay when it comes to statistical package the main functions are data analysis okay so SAS can do all data management data cleaning data manipulation data analysis and reporting work okay so um, SAS is used for data management, business intelligence, predictive analysis, descriptive and perspective analysis. Okay. So, um, SAS enables you to retrieve, enter and manage your data easily. For example, we can enter the data into the SAS and we can retrieve and manage our data. Okay. And we can create a slick reports and pretty pictures in the SAS okay and also we will be able to analyze data statistically and mathematically that means we can do calculations in the SAS okay and also we can plan or forecast and make decisions concerning uh, based on the business requirements okay and also we can manage projects and perform research on how how to conduct our operations okay and also we can improve the quality of our processes as well as we can develop entirely a new software by using this SaaS application okay so basically this SaaS environment looks like this um, it is having editor window log window output window result window and then the explorer window so it is like a five fingers in our hand one is the editor window log window output window result window and the explorer window okay so we have five windows in the sas we will see that um, when i showing you the sas software okay so the workflow looks like this basically we get we have the raw data and we with this raw data we will create a data step and then we will create a SAS data set by using this data step and then proc step is created where the reports will be generated okay so example of the data step and proc step I will explain you all this clearly in the data uh, SAS software okay let's go into the SAS software okay now I'm going to the SAS software here is an icon with SAS click on that now my SAS windows environment got open see here this is the editor window that I was telling you earlier in the editor window we can write edit and submit our SAS program okay so this is the log window it contains all the nodes like commands program statements submitted execution details and displays errors warnings if any okay i will show you in the example okay this is the output window and this is the explorer window where the libraries contains where, where libraries exist and this is the result window okay let me explain you that one by one okay for example this is the um let me create a data set here we have seen a uh, example right let me take this data step we have data step and proc step first i am taking the data set step example okay okay 
I can write I can leave spaces like this also but I'm removing them this is the data set I have now I'm going to run the program here you can see the running boy like icon right if you want to run the program you have to click on that um, there are other ways also to run your program uh, the another way is right click and click on submit all or submit selection this is another two methods uh, to submit your program uh, other method is click here select the program and uh, come to this space and write submit and enter and give enter okay then the program will be submitted okay uh, and the other method is select all the program and from your keyboard click on f3 okay and enter okay then the program will be submitted but i prefer always to click on this running boy like icon here okay now i am submitting the program okay see here we have um, what what it is saying it is saying some nodes auto x processing completed and it is showing my data step and it here it is showing data set work dot has two observations and three variables and it is showing things like this right so this is the log window log window contains all the nodes like commands program lines statement submitted execution data see this this notes here i have right two observations and three variables data statement and total process time this is the execution details and it displays errors also i will show you that okay so this in the log window it shows commands and program lines these are the commands and the program lines that i have submitted statement submitted and um so let me show you so here earlier we have discussed right sas program steps are of two uh, two steps one is the data step and the other one is the proc step in the data step um it uh, always starts with the keyword data okay and this um this data step is used to do create and modify the data okay this is the data that we have submitted okay and uh, it is used to create data sets okay if i run this program uh, what happens it automate it creates a data set where it creates a data sets in the work library see in the work library it creates it created a data set okay with the information that i have given see this is the data i have given right earlier see with the data i have given it created a data set in the work library okay and we have another step called proc step okay and i'm closing this because um if it is open it won't run the program okay see for example i'm taking the so um uh, every data step ends with the semicolon okay um but except the observations observed um, observations never end with the semicolon okay remaining all the data uh, statements will end with semicolon okay see for example um i'm removing this semicolon now what happens run the program okay now check the log window see what it is showing you error it is showing at here error it underlined the error where it is and it is showing you that statement is not valid or it is used out of proper order okay that means there is some mistake in the data step okay that so because i have removed the semicolon okay see uh, now i am giving the semicolon and i will take off the a from this data okay now what happens if i run the program let's see okay see now it is showing warning messages what are the warning messages the data set work dot test may be incomplete when the step was stopped there were zero observations and four variables data set was not replaced this step okay and it is also showing you warning that assuming the symbol data was misspelled as dat okay so like this it will show you 
warning messages error messages and what else when we have discussed right earlier it will show us um program lines this is the program lines that i have submitted right or said statement submitted and it also shows us the execution details so this is the execution details okay so like this okay um so in whatever in the black that is all of those are commands or program lines or the statements that we have submitted okay and execution details will be always in blue color okay these are the execution details execution details means nothing but processing steps and how much time it took and see real time cpu time um it it is it will show you that all these details in the blue color okay so and the warning messages will be always in the green color and errors will be will be displayed in the red color okay this is how we can read the sas log window okay see what happens if i give now i am giving the correct data run the program now new data set got created okay where we look for the data set in the explorer window okay let's see what is explorer window so explorer window is where we have this um libraries okay see explorer windows contains libraries file shortcuts favorite folders and computer okay in the libraries we have four libraries okay four folders okay these are the uh, in by default inbuilt libraries okay so perm sas help and sas user are the permanent libraries whereas this work is the temporary library okay now when you run this program it will automatically creates a data set in the work library see in the work library it has been created a data set okay what is this see this is the test data set which was created in the work library okay so next move on to the proc step okay proc step how can we do this proc step i will keep this in the comment if you give control slash you will get a slash star star slash this is called comment if you want to mention anything in between the statements you can do it by using this comment okay so now i will give proc print data equal to test run so if i run this program what happens if this um this is the second step right proc step so by and this always starts with the word proc okay which performs specific analysis and generates results or reports okay now run this program see now what happened it generated results or the reports okay so this is how we can use the proc step and on uh, this result window where it is getting see now in the output window it is showing results okay so now you can understand what is the importance of different windows see in the editor window what we can do we can write edit and submit the sas programs okay in the log window what we can do we can it can it contains all the nodes like commands programs and statements lines see commands programs and statement lines and also it contains some submitted execution details and displays errors and warning messages if we have any and it contains in four colors we have discussed that earlier right and we have the output window output window is what results are printed in this output window okay and we have seen about explorer window this is a what is the explorer window see what is this explorer window storage place for all sas files which contains folders like libraries favorite folders computer files and shortcuts okay etc and result window what is this result window here we have another window called result window with this result window is used to navigate the output window which serves like a table of contents 
for output window okay it will shows like a table of content for example if i click on this it will shows me the data set for our first program that we have created see this one shows as a table of contents okay like an index okay try to open this sas data set which was created by us it shows us like the data is stored in tables which are called as so this entire table is called as sas data set and the rows these are the rows right row one row two these are called the observations and on the top these columns are there right the first column second column and the third column id name department these are called as the variables okay these are this is all about the sas windows so we have discussed about all the five windows that we have in the sas editor log output explorer and result window so the latest version of the sas is 9.4 now i am working on the 9.2 let me show you the 9.4 version also so this 9.4 version is the most sophisticated version it's also serves as the same but it is more comfortable version see see in this 9.4 version also this is the um, university um, edition so in this 9.4 version also we have code log and results windows so code is nothing but earlier we have seen the editor window right here in the world version in the 9.2 version we have the editor window right so here editor window and in the new version it's a cold code okay so this code is a serves as a editor window and we have log window here like earlier and we have result window okay and we have libraries here okay see i have libraries here these are the see sas helps as user web work and work these are the inbuilt libraries and this dj and firstly were created by me okay okay in this also it will do the same functions like if i give the program it will it will re see i'm going to copy paste it to there See, now I am running the program here. See, it has generated results for me. It generated a data set. Okay. And we have the output data also. This is the nothing but output window in the 9.2 version. See, it created variables, observations, and it is showing you uh, like columns, which are the variables that it has created. It created the three variables and in the columns, and it, it will show you the table properties here. When was this created and how many rows, how many tables, okay? And columns, everything. It will show you the length, everything it will show you, okay? And this SAS 9.4 version can be installed in any operating system. Okay, it's not permitted to Windows or something or Linux or something, but it can be um, operated in any operating system. Okay, now I am using this in Mac. Okay, so this is about brief introduction on SAS Windows and introduction on SAS demo.